In this video, I want to show how to set up a simple note sequence using Fathom. I've already inserted a basic waveform, basic sawtooth, and a filter just to calm it down a little bit. I'm going to turn my velocity all the way up so that my keyboard is not so sensitive. Okay, we want to control our pitch note with a modulator, so we'll add a modulator, select a modulator, new one, and in this case, a sequencer. You'll notice we have eight individual steps. Uh, one thing we want to pay particular attention to here is the default quantize amplitude is set to 16. We want to change that to 12, giving one increment per semitone so that our notes will be exact. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up a simple octave sequence where it pedals back and forth, this being one octave above this, 12 semitones. I'm going to take my pitch note and increase the modulation amplitude all the way up, giving me a, a full range of 12 semitones. And you can hear that pedaling, you can hear that pedaling back and forth between the, uh, the two octaves. If I want to slow that down, I just increase my period. add some more segments I can do that here change the notes around a little bit so that's basically how you would set up a, a note sequence in Fathom uh, it's got some other cool features here, such as we can decrease the segment width. We can change the center, which will allow us to give space to ramp up and ramp down. Just cool things to play with. Right now I have it set to song, which means that the sequence is playing through uh, at the beat per minute rate uh, of the of your DAW and is in sync. If I want it to restart every time I press a note, I simply turn that off. But you'll notice when it got to the end of the sequence, it held on the last held on the last. Um, note here the last note that the last segment was set at. If I want this to loop, just simply turn the loop on. So that's basically that's basically how you would set up a note sequence in Fathom. I hope that's helped, and uh, we'll see you next time.